Today in Review This Thing, we are going to compare these four True Fire releases. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. If you've been with us the past few weeks, then you know that I've started a journey maybe back to bow hunting. We tested out the Burris Oracle 2 a few weeks ago. We've got some arrow build videos coming. You may want to subscribe so you don't miss those. And one of the main things I had to figure out was which type of release that I want to use. The guys over at Truefire sent a few different ones for us to try out. We are going to have links to all of these in the description, so make sure you check that out if you're interested in one of these. Robbie and I have both been shooting them quite a bit, so we're ready to tell you what we think. Let's compare these things. So there are really three main types of releases for compound bow hunters. Probably the most common is the index finger release. And I think one of the big reasons it's pretty popular with hunters is because we're used to using that finger to pull a trigger. So you might as well just keep doing it. So this is the True Fire Edge FT buckle foldback. The wrist strap is very durable. It's a leather-like fabric that has no stretch. And then the underside has a softer, almost felt-like fabric, which is for making it feel more comfortable against your skin and probably helps a lot with moisture management as well. One very nice feature about this is that it has a buckle. The ones that I've used before had Velcro, and no matter how quiet you try to be, that Velcro is the loudest thing in the woods. The buckle also has what they call a trap tab, which makes it really easy to put it on with just one hand. The strap itself has a lot of adjustability. I have fairly small wrists and I'm able to get it tight enough for me. And then you can see with all these holes, if you have a pretty big wrist or you're putting it over heavy clothing, you should be okay there too. The foldback feature is also pretty awesome. If you're walking into your stand, climbing into it or glassing, you can fold it back and get it out of the way. Then when you're ready, you just fold it back out. The Edge FT also has a lot of customizable options in the release. First, this piece is not fixed. So no matter the size or shape of your hand, you should be able to get it in the right position. The length can also be customized up to half an inch difference. I have pretty small hands and short fingers, so I wind it all the way down and it fits me pretty good. But someone with larger hands can also use it. Once you have the length where you want it, you can lock that into place as well, including the rotation of it. So the fit should always be right. And because of that rotation, you can use it left or right-handed. The Edge FT also gives you the option to adjust the amount of trigger travel as well. Another cool part I like about this one is that the jaws are auto locking. So you open it up, put it around your D loop and then let go and it's gonna stay put. Then when you're ready to shoot, you just pull the trigger, it opens and there you go. Now this one, because it is also a trigger finger release, is very similar to the Edge. This is the Hardcore 2.0. It has a nice, long, sturdy, not stretchy wrist strap. Lots of options with the buckle, which again, we love. Also has the trap, strap, <laughs> trap tab, so that you can put it on with one hand. And it also has the fold back free floating release. The length is also adjustable up to five eighths of an inch. Robbie's been shooting with it and he likes it there. So he went ahead and locked that into play. So you can see what that looks like. On the Hardcore 2.0, in addition to the trigger travel, you can also adjust the trigger tension from one to two pounds. And if all of that wasn't enough, the Hardcore 2.0 comes with four different trigger piece options. Robbie has opted for this two finger trigger. This is a little bit different for him, but so far I think he's really digging the two finger. One thing that is different about the Hardcore as compared to the Edge, you can see that it doesn't clamp around the D-loop. It's just gonna hook on. And then as you pull, that tension keeps it in place. And then whenever you hit the trigger, it releases that hook and that's how you shoot this one. I had never shot one like this and I actually really like it because it feels like it's smoother almost. Robbie felt the same. He's always been using the hook kind, but after shooting this one, switched to it and he actually killed a deer with it yesterday. Now we're gonna to shift to the second type, which is a thumb release. First, let's talk about the Synapse Light. I like that it is smaller, and I actually like that it doesn't have that kind of big bulky wrist strap to clank around on things or have to mess with over your clothes. You can get a small strap that you can loop through that piece to tie on so that you don't drop it. But I also figure once I'm in the stand or the blind, I'm gonna go ahead and just clamp it on that D loop so it's already ready. But the thing that I like most about this Synapse Light is that the 
drawing motion just feels a lot more natural to me. Whenever I'm using a, one like this, you have to hold on to the shaft of the release and then I try to kind of grab hold of that buckle. I always end up with blisters on my finger from grabbing hold of that part. Where with this, I feel like I have a really strong wide grip and I have a lot more momentum to draw back. So I feel like I'm able to pull back a little bit more weight a lot more comfortably. And it's pretty easy to work too. You just get your D-loop in that space there, push that button, push it in so it locks it in place, and then you're ready to draw back. It is a thumb release, so when you're ready to shoot, you just hit that trigger with your thumb and it opens up and releases the string. The Synapse Lite also has a lot of adjustable features like the other two. It's set up now as a three finger release, but it comes with an extra piece you can switch out to make it a four finger. I haven't tried that yet, but I think I want to. It comes with three different trigger sizes and you can adjust the trigger tension as well as the travel. The position of the thumb trigger can also be moved. You can see I can move it out further or I could move it to the right or to the left. I think I kind of like where it is, at least I've gotten used to it, so I haven't really messed with that yet either. The next one I want to talk about is the rivet. You can see it looks a lot like the Synapse Lite and has a lot of the same features. It's made from aerospace aluminum, so very lightweight and durable. You can put a wrist strap if you want. You can switch out this piece and make it a four finger release instead of three. The position of the thumb trigger can be moved, but not quite as many options as the Synapse Lite. It does not come with other sizes of triggers either, so hopefully you like that one. And you can still adjust the trigger tension, but the amount of travel is static. One thing I think I would potentially like better about the rivet is that the loop catch is easily done one-handed. Instead of having to do two or three different things, you just push the trigger up to lock it in place and pull it back to release it. I'm currently still back and forth between the rivet and the synapse. I think I'm leaning toward the synapse because of all those additional adjustments. Well, there you have our comparison video of these four TrueFire releases. Hopefully it helped you make your decision about which release you would like to try out. If you did like this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. Also comment, tell us which type of release you like and why. We have at least one brand new video every Sunday, so make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss that. And don't forget to head over to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, where you can get more information about these as well as tons of other products that we've reviewed. As always, we appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our True Fire release comparison video. While you're here, like it, comment, share it with your friends. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, head over to reviewthisthingtv.com so you can sign up for our newsletter. Also check us out on our Amazon storefront, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter, also known as X.